getting pretty good in this one now. He's holding on to Brian Christopher. Trying to get him to, to submit to that sleeper hole. Trying to get Gaylord off the uh, ring apron there, too. Gaylord up on the apron where he shouldn't be, and Bart Sawyer takes care of that for him. He smacks Gaylord. Goes over and nails Gaylord. Oh, but he turns around, and look at Christopher. Pulled a chain out of his tights. Now Sawyer, two, three, he got him. He just clobbered Bart Sawyer with a chain he pulled out of his tights in there. Now Bart has got the one, two, three. And uh, there's Bart Sawyer holding on to uh, his jaw there when Christopher nailed him with that chain and got the one, two, three. Well, the referee's back was turned trying to uh, get Jeffrey Gaylord down off the ring apron. Christopher seized the opportunity, pulled out the chain and smacked him with it. Now TD, the referee, has talked to uh, Bart Sawyer. And Bart has explained what happened. And TD is asking the crowd about it. We could get a reversal here. Yeah. Look at Christopher. He's trying to explain to uh, the referee TD still. Said, oh, no way. Christopher's denying it. He said, no, look, here's what happened. He said, I just hit him and rolled him up. There was nothing illegal about it, sir, I'm sure he said. TD checking with, uh, with the crowd again. And, of course, the crowd telling him what happened. Yeah, he hit him with a chain. TD see the, the ruling. He's, you know, I don't know what TD's... TD asking the fans. And they're saying, yeah. hey. Oh! oh, he was about to raise the hand, and all of a sudden, Brian Christopher grabs it. What is this? Gaylord throws the referee out of the ring. Threw TD still out on the concrete floor there, and uh, TD says, ring the bell. And let's get some help out here for Mark Sawyer. Yeah, here Pick comes help. help. Bill Dundee. Superstar, Bill Dundee comes in and gets rid of Christopher and Gaylord in there. And it's good to see the superstar come out and help Bart Sawyer that one. And you even it up at two against two, and it didn't take long for Dundee and Bart Sawyer to clean house and get rid of Brian Christopher and his new bodyguard, Jeff Gaylord. Here's Dundee. Bill, thanks for your help in that right there. Appreciate it. Brian Christopher, let me tell you something, punk. Well, there's no sense standing out here and talking a whole lot of garbage because that's what you're going to think it is anyway. The man was down there last week and had a camera and he filmed it. So if they'll just play the tape back, we can see exactly what happened to Danny Davis and your version is all out the window, punk. So if you'll just press the button or you tell him they will. All right. What? Yeah, let's see the tape Danny Davis against Brian Christopher. Here's what happened. Bill, there's a problem with the tape. The director tells me there's a problem with the tape. I know you've got a uh, got a Southern he uh, heavyweight title match mm -hmm. coming up against him. With Mr. Brian Christopher, we'll just see. Hey! Oh my God! Hey, uh, I think I see what the problem with the tape is. Is that the t is that is that the tape with you against Davis? Hey! Is this what you're looking for? Is this yeah, what you're looking for? that's it. Is it that Brian if you don't mind, we'll first Danny Davis. Why don't you take it back upstairs and play it so we can all see it, punk? Hey! I done told you what happened, Dundee. Oh, come on. Look, look. You're ruining the tape. No, all you got to do is look on this tape. You can see what I was talking about. Look, Bill. There's me beating Danny's brains out. There's him. Hey, look. You there's me down look, look. Look. look oh, there's man. him begging for mercy. You don't believe me, do you? Huh? Look, here's where he's sitting there bloody. It's a bloody pulp right there. Oh, Bill, it's, it's useless. No, We're not going to be able to see it. you're standing there lying what you're doing. That's exactly what you're doing. You couldn't whip Danny Davis. Today, yesterday, or the day after, boy. Hey, it is so bad, why don't you climb up in here now? Hey, 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 hey. hey come on, we're, we're going to need some help for Bill out here. Two against one, Gaylord holding him up while Christopher's ripping his clothes off. What he's doing. Boy, what a guy. Have another guy hold him up so he can work him over. Here comes some help. Here's Bart Sawyer. Boy, these guys are two against one. They just oh, love hard. that. Finally, it evens up. And they're out of here. Bill, my goodness. I don't know what more we might expect from Brian Christopher, but we're going to see the uh, see the videotape here. Christopher obviously is, is uh, uh, 
stolen the tape from the tape room, and uh, here it is in pieces, and it will not be viewed because it's ruined now. Hey, Punk, let me tell you something, brother. You know exactly what was on this tape, and you couldn't whoop Danny Davis or anybody else in a loser leaf town. You make me sick, boy. Well, there's uh, Phil Dundee and uh, Bart Sawyer. Let's take a break. We'll be back here in just a minute. Talking to Eddie Marlin, I saw you guys talking, I, but I couldn't hear you. No scheduled interview, but I had this punk up. Look at my ear, man. He slapped it cauliflower. Eddie Marlin, I need to ask you a favor. And I've asked you a few over the years, and sometimes I got mad at you and done all kinds of things that I shouldn't. But I got a southern title with that idiot that's just hired Jeff Gaylord for his back watch or whatever he calls him. Well, let me tell you something, punk. If you got enough guts to sign this match with a superstar, just wander back on out here. We'll change that from a southern title to a loser leave town, and we'll see how big and bad you are. Because let me tell you, brother, I've done it. I've loaded up the U-Haul, and I've hauled my family all over America, and it ain't very nice. And the pressure on you, brother, is going to be something terrible. Because I've had a few of them lose at least. I don't know how many Danny Davis had, but I know I've had a couple. And I'll beat a few, y'all. Oh, come on, punk, come on. Oh, watch it, here he comes. Watch it, Eddie. Here's Gaylord with him, too. I'm thinking about it. Because this snot-nosed brat ain't slapping me on television, and you ain't running my friend out of town. And if you got any guts, you'll sign it right now, brother. Lose and leave town. Stop wasting your breath, Dundee. Don't get so so uptight and hot and, and sweating and getting red in the face. I don't need to sign no lose and leave town. I, I'm a, I don't. What, what do you want to sit at home, huh? You want to go home? You want to sit at home? You like the unemployment line, huh? I like keeping you around to beat on you. I gotta keep just, somebody around here to beat up on, don't I? more time talking. Just wait. He's got a contract. Just write the name on it. I don't need to sign nothing. No. Because you're yellow. You're a coward. No, I'm not yellow. I'm not a coward, and you're the liar. No, sir. You are a coward, and you're yellow, and you're a liar. You never know. I'm not you yellow. Know, Danny, Danny. You I'm are yellow. Hey. hey. No, I don't need to sign nothing. <laughs> If you wasn't a coward, you wouldn't have hollered that big idiot to stand behind you. You are a punk, like you. Jack, and you are a coward. I don't need to sign no loser leave town, Bill. I'm not scared of it. I'd pick you any day of the week, Dundee. You are yellow and a coward. Well, I'm not scared it. of you. Loser leave town is what he's signed now. If you got any guts, you'll sign it. But you ain't got no guts. Because you're a boy I trying to do a man's job. A man. You can't be me, and you couldn't be Danny Davis. Now, Eddie, please don't I'm leave a man that. Now, we'll see that this week when you're sitting at employment line and that stupid little girlfriend driving you all over. Because I've had to do it, punk. I've had to back up and leave, and I ain't leaving no more. We'll see you all right. You're going to be sitting at home, Danny. We'll leave down no All right, been no fine. Made me mad. It's going to be an unemployment line before this is up with Tom Gaylord. Well, somebody may be in the unemployment line. with. Superstar against Brian Christopher. And you know, I've got to say, I'm, I'm not sure it was very wise for either one of them. That any